cryptocurrencies, cannabis stocks, and CEO interviews brought to you by Rich TV Live. How's everybody doing today? This is your boy Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live, and I'm here with Aaron, a very special guest from Departures Capital. How are you doing today, Aaron? Good, Rich. How are you? Very good, man. I'm excited to collaborate with you today. Uh, a fellow YouTuber, a fellow Canadian, an investor in cannabis stocks. Yep. Uh, what are you thinking about the cannabis stocks today? What are you feeling? What are you? What, how's the vibe today for you? Vibe today is, I mean, we're 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 pretty chill right now, but I mean. We have seen some really nice gains. We saw a nice bounce uh, yesterday. So, I mean, I'm really liking how ACB is looking. That's one of the, that's our biggest holding. But I mean, yeah, it's been, it's been a <coughs> eventful couple of weeks, but definitely positive, positive. Yeah, right now, today, I believe the market for the cannabis stocks is in the red slightly. Nothing huge. I don't see anything crazy. But Aurora Cannabis, also one of the companies that I've talked about, tons has some huge news coming up obviously they've already announced that they are going to be listing to a senior exchange in october yeah. obviously something that we're all waiting for how do you think oh, yeah. that will affect the stock in your opinion in my opinion i mean i think the capital is just going to pour in and i think that's why the stock's holding up i mean you can see like other stocks have pulled back so much but acb it's pulled back with the market not as much it's held that 12 um, so I think we're going to, I think we're going to 14, 15 within the coming weeks that once it's listed, I mean, just look what's possible with when Kronos was listed, when Tilray was listed, when all of these guys were listed. So, I mean, kind of be growth. I mean, when they got, listed. Growth, yeah, yeah. That's one. How could I forget that? But I mean, it's just, I think the same thing's going to happen and yeah, they, they had the opportunity to buy such a big company with way more production capacity than Tilray. I mean, like, just just look at what you're buying versus, I mean, that's just my opinion on Tilray. I think Tilray's like pumped like crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, uh, personally, I'm not gonna be touching any stocks over 100. I don't even no. really like to buy anything over 20 bucks. That's just yeah. not really in my wheelhouse. I like to buy these stocks yeah. that are licensed producers before yeah. they explode. I think I was one of the first people to predict Aurora Cannabis, mm -hmm. Afria, and Cannabis Growth when they were in the dollar range, and yeah. they've skyrocketed. So for me, as an investor that's benefited from that growth, I'm now looking for the next Cannabis Growth, the next Aurora Cannabis, the next Tilray, because obviously exactly. I missed out on Tilray, and I'm not going to chase it at $140, no. wherever it's at. What you're do just you trading it now. Like if if you're buying Tilray, you're just getting, you're just trading it. Yeah, it's opinion. a day trade. It's a very risky trade. You can win, you could lose, and we 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 know that that's very risky. What do you think about some of these up and coming stocks in the cannabis sector? You know, I'm looking uh, at a lot of companies like, for example, Vivo. Huge yeah. news coming out. Fire. Huge news coming out. Um, XLY. Huge. Alifia. These are just some Alifia, of the companies. Alifia is a very interesting one. I'll answer that question in one second. I just wanted to mention when I was in, uh, it's, it was so funny. So like when I was recently in Italy, I just like was checking the market. It, Cause like when the market's open in Canada, like it's nighttime in Europe, I was at dinner. I was looking at Tilray. Oh my gosh. It was the day that it hit 300. So crazy. I checked my phone Tilray up 45% again. And I'm like, Oh my gosh. And then midway through dinner, I checked my phone again. <laughs> it's up over 90 percent i was just like i couldn't believe it it was it was just one of those things where i know it's just a number on a phone but it was just like holy what is happening but <laughs> anyways yeah so what what's your uh what's your quick uh opinion or what do you think about just tilray's moves i mean i think it's just like an entertainer in the space I think Tilray is <laughs> one of the most successful stories in the cannabis sector. This is an industry that is booming and Tilray yeah. has been a huge success. So for anybody yeah. that is a cannabis enthusiast like I am, like you are, that's in the industry yeah. talking about the stocks and really, really likes the industry. I'm very heavily getting involved with public companies. Yeah. I'm working in the CBD space. I'm heavily invested. So I have a lot of interest in this industry. Tilray has been amazing. I mean, I what stock has broken a hundred, 
broken 200, broken 300, Tilray. Yeah. So that is just a huge success story for the cannabis sector. So from that perspective, I, I love it. Now, as an investment, I think it's very risky. I'm going to yeah, stay away. Too. And from that perspective, I don't think it's very good for an investor right now. I think it can be very dangerous, but it also has some upside. Why does it have upside? This is the one thing people don't understand. Tilray has 81% of its shares locked up. They're locked mm -hmm. up until January. Their share structure is brilliant. They only have 76 million shares issued and outstanding, and they only have 13 million shares in their float. Because they have only 13 million shares in their float, it's supply and demand. People yeah. in the market want to buy it, and nobody's selling. What is that going to do? It's going to make the stock skyrocket. It's yeah. a brilliant business structure. It's a brilliant share structure. They are a brilliant company. And they have been a massive success story. Now, whether I it think... lasts remains to be seen, but I believe right now for the industry, it's a very good thing. It makes it so hard to short, right? I believe like I was reading, like they were charging 600% interest a year just to short the stock. So that's 2% a day. Because you so can get you short not, squeezed. If, if it's, yeah, if you didn't catch that stock, like within a week before it dropped and you're paying that interest every single day, you, you're just, paying to lose money essentially correct. <laughs> you know what i mean so correct and there's a lot of people shorting tilray and canopy growth i was reading an yeah. article yesterday that said that the short interest on canopy growth and tilray is higher than anything anyone's ever seen that's how many people Damn. are short on tilray and canopy growth now mm -hmm. a lot of people think that's a very scary thing and including me <laughs> when you got that much short pressure on those securities yeah. However, however, when you're short trading a stock, you sell it high and you buy it low. So when these shorters are covering, that that creates massive volume in these securities. Oh yeah. And it forces them to buy it back at a lower price, which is gonna drive the price back up. So that's yeah. why I told everyone when Tilray went back to 100, I said, it's going back up. And everyone's like, why? I go, because these are just shorters covering. And in order for them to cover, they're gonna buy it back up because that's how you cover. You got to exactly. buy it back. So they're buying it back up to cover. Then they're going to short it again at 150, 160, take it back down to 100, cover again at 100, all the way back up. And it's a game. It's just it a game. is a game. <laughs> and the people that play it the best make the most. But it is a game, no, and you true. have to understand to play the game. And this is why here on Rich TV Live, I always say buy in the red, sell in the green, learn to play the game within the game because. None of us, nobody's big enough to control the market. Rich exactly. TV Live, you know, we're not big enough to control the market. As much as people think, oh yeah, Rich, you put out a news. It's, no, I, it has nothing to do with me. The market yeah. is controlled by institutional investors, whales, rich people, short mm -hmm. traders, retail investors, people like you and me, speculators, yeah. day traders, momentum traders, you name it. They control the market. It's a combination of everybody. That's mm -hmm. what it is. And anybody that thinks that a promoter or a YouTube channel or anybody can control the market is crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. You can't. Because you look at the volume of some of these companies, they are astronomical. Like that day, I remember um, there was more dollar volume traded of Tilray than Amazon. Exactly. Like right. that's mind boggling. <laughs> a brand new company that most people don't even know about yet. And you're I trading more than Amazon. 36 million shares. 36 million shares were traded that day. I, I could be wrong, but it was in the 30 millions, I think. And, and that's I'm not a surprised. $300 stock at one point. And I'm not <laughs> surprised because Tilray is a genius company. They're here from Vancouver. They're from uh, Nanaimo, yeah. I believe, from the island. Okay, yeah. They're yeah, a Canadian yeah. company. They got a listing in America on the NASDAQ and they're not even listed in Canada. You want to talk about a brilliant company? They have, yeah. made, they have made all the right moves. They have you made know all what's the right ridiculous? Moves. Like I've found in this industry, so, like just being listed, regardless of your business fundamentals, has almost been like more, it has almost been better than actually having a great business model and great production capacity. Just the fact that you're it's on true. the American exchange being available for cap for investment has that drives the stocks up like crazy it's 
it's it's a crazy industry. Like right now, look at Labs. Labs is a new IPO. It just came out today. L A B S. Mm -hmm. It's going nuts. It's at two dollars and sixteen cents. I'm watching it right now. It's like a war zone. It's up one hundred and sixteen percent. However, it opened up at three dollars today, so it was up two hundred percent pre market, wow. pre market, and they did a funding at eighty five cents. Mm -hmm. So all of those guys that got in at eighty five cents, they've already made three four times their money. First money in, love, first money out. I would out. love to get your take on Astralis Capital. I own it. I love it. It's yeah. Aurora 2.0. Rivers yeah. is Canopy 2.0. I keep telling everybody, just because a stock goes down doesn't mean it's a bad stock. And just because a stock goes up doesn't mean it's a good stock. I first really believe day that. it hit like 16 bucks intraday, which was yeah. And now it's at $2. Insane. And now it's at $2. And yeah. I, own, I own over 1,000 shares and I'm going to keep buying more. Because yeah. I look at it like it's Aurora 2.0 because it's a it long is. term, definitely. It's Aurora 2.0. I mean, you've yeah. got Aurora backing you. Oh, yeah. That's all I got to say. <laughs> you've got Aurora and, backing and you. Free, and I mean, like free shares and warrants, like that was nice, definitely, to get some free shares and, and free warrant. Not free, but like because you own Aurora stock, you got those other stock. But yeah, it was, yeah. A, it was a dividend. So anybody that Pretty held much. some Aurora received like you said yeah. free shares in AUSA and AUSA.wt so Warrants, yeah. yeah so I was pretty excited about that and I bought more of both because you have the ability to exercise uh, yep. uh, like for example if you bought I think it was 500 shares of Aurora you got like 14 warrants was the number and 14, it was one for every 36 shares yeah yeah so it was like 14 and 14 I was breaking yep. it down statistically. So if you got 14 and 14, you can go and buy another 14 and 14 and you were getting the opportunity to take advantage of them at a lower price. So I went and just bought like a thousand dollars of each that I just yeah. own. And I said, you know, I'm just going to hold these long term, but I'm going to buy more. I want to buy about 10 grand of each and I'm going to yeah. be buying rivers as soon as I can. I'm just waiting to watch it hit a bottom. Um, yeah, I think that a week to two weeks after those kind of IPOs, because they they were flying high, like first day, second day, crazy volatility. Like you saw it go from 16, first day, it hit a high of 16 and closed at 293. The next day it went back up to 550. Then it closed at three something. And I think in the twos, like that range, probably pretty good. I know Canopy Rivers. What's Canopy Rivers at right now? Let's see. When I checked recently, it was at like, Five bucks or something. I last time I looked, it was at five ninety nine. Yeah, Let's something like see that. Here, it's on my watch list. Uh, five eighty two. So it's down another two percent today. So for me, it's like, why am I gonna buy it if it keeps going down? I just want to keep watching it go down. Yeah. If it goes to about five bucks or four bucks, I'm gonna load up. I'm yeah. gonna load up. To me, this is Canopy two point oh. I made yeah. money on Canopy. I'm very happy with Canopy. It's done very well for me. But Canopy is <clears> way too expensive for me now. This is an opportunity you, for me to get into Canopy again at a low price, and I'm going to do it for sure. You know the funniest thing? So I was watching weed stocks for the longest time, <clears throat> and the uh, like Canopy, I believe in the company, great company, but I always thought, thought the stock was a little too expensive. Yes. It was like 30, 40, and, and you're seeing Aurora like single digits, right? And it's just, it might just be a mental thing that Aurora is only eight bucks and there's more shares of Aurora. That's great. Canopy is X, whatever. So the first day I bought Canopy was the day before they announced the Constellation Brands deal. Great and day to I buy it. it. <laughs> they doubled. <laughs> I was like, how does this happen? And, and I told my dad to buy it too. I was like, hey, dad, like, Canopy's going to announce like their, quarter, their quarterly earnings. Um, I'm just going to put some money into it. You should probably do the same. He's like, oh, I don't know. Canopy's pretty expensive. I was like, just trust me on this. <laughs> Within a week or two. We sold it at 60, I don't know, 65 or something. And I was just like, you made over a hundred percent. Yeah. In a week. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it, so. that's the beauty of the stock market. That's why we all play the market, right? Yeah. It's for those opportunities to explode. <clears throat> but listen, we've been live for a while. I need to go back to the market. Um, I'm watching these markets and I want to start doing some trading. So my <clears throat> friend, Aaron, let's do this again soon. Okay. Yeah. Let's get back to the markets. Let's do some day trading. Thank you for your time today. And guys, sure. everyone that's watching, we're going to be doing this all the time. If there's anything yeah. you want us to talk about, comment down below. If there's any stock picks you want us to look at, if there's any discussions you want us to have specifically 
any debates you want us to have, polls you want us to have, please comment down below, like this video, share it everywhere. It really helps myself and Aaron a lot, okay? We really appreciate all your support. You guys are amazing. And remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education, entertainment purposes. I am not a licensed advisor. Do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that I talk about on Rich TV Live, okay? Please, do your due diligence. Buy it because you love it, not because you heard it here first. Got anything to say, Aaron, before we go? No, that was phenomenal. <laughs> All right, man, we got some parting music here. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Yeah. Hit that bell from hit the bell for notifications. Every yeah. time Just I go it. live or Aaron goes live, every time we got a video, we got breaking news, you'll know first. <laughs> it's true. We up. <laughs> Peace. All right. I click cryptocurrencies, cannabis stocks, and CEO interviews brought to you by Rich TV Live.